Birmingham, Alabama was founded in 1871 as a steel manufacturing hub. As this was during Reconstruction, slavery was no longer allowed, except as punishment for a crime. So in 1874, they began a program known as convict leasing. Nearby coal mines could rent prisoners for $19 a month. This was arguably worse than traditional chattel slavery. Under that system, there was an economic incentive to keep your slaves alive and able to work. But if a convict miner dies, you can just rent a new one tomorrow. But what did these people do that made them criminals? Alabama passed what were known as vagrancy laws, making things like loitering and being unemployed a jailable offense. By 1890, the practice had grown by an order of magnitude and spread to every southern state, with convicts harvesting turpentine in Florida and making clay bricks in Georgia. These laws were only ever applied to black people. Are you really going to try and tell me that white people weren't unemployed in the 1890s? 